Hello! Time to return to the bingo board I wrote up at the beginning of the season in which I made a lot of incredibly intelligent and proficient predictions for the season ahead. Let's have a quick glance over the board to see how we've progressed in the last few races. Firstly, let's close off some open-ended questions from last time. I asked you if you thought Liberty had suitably spiced up the pre-show with their new intro music and fancy graphics. You seem to agree that they had, so we're ticking that off. They've even moved to force the drivers out onto the grid earlier, so they're available to be interviewed by an increasingly exasperated Martin Bundle, so they're definitely continuing to work on that one. Tick! And I'm still not calling the weird red flag event yet. It hasn't been weird or dramatic enough for my liking, and I'm taking this seriously, you guys. Kimmy isn't looking close to retiring at the moment, is he? In fact, he's the strongest I've seen him in years, even though his attention is now starting to wane a little. Ferrari have no interest in giving him opportunities to win, instead using him as a rear gunner, blocker, test bed and general dog's body for Sebastian Vettel. But if Kimmy's happy to do that to earn dollars for his new snowmobiles, then maybe he'll carry on for a year or two. I said four teams will win, but in Canada the difference between the top teams and everyone else was well over one minute by the end of the race. It's definitely a two-tier formula at the moment, but if the wind changes at the right moment, who knows? We're about to head into the engine penalty season. Lots of teams are moving on to their second and final components of the power units, so watch this space. I think we're on for a tick here for seeing 15 cars get penalties. I said there'd be a halo controversy in which it would be unclear if the halo made a difference or not. This hasn't happened in F1, but in Formula 2 in Barcelona, Tadasuke Makino came very close to having a bump on the noggin by Fukuzima's car. I think it's unclear whether the halo did anything and I expect a queue of commenters ready to tell me that the halo had no effect, and therefore this square is ticked. And as an addendum it looks very much like Brendan Hartley actually hit his head on the halo during his accident in Canada, so controversy continues. Okay, I've got the super hard down as being used exactly once, but with the hypersofts and ultrasofts lasting incredible distances I'm wondering if we'll even see the hard tyre out in use. I'm not blanking this square off yet, but with Pirelli looking to ditch complicated compound names for next year I am 99% sure we will never even see the super hard ever. And if we don't see the hard either, that'll mean this year was a five compound championship, just like last year. That kind of puts a damper on the song and dance Pirelli made about expanding its rainbow of rubber, doesn't it? It would also mean that 80% of the tyres are classified as soft, which is not confusing at all. Whether Bottas finishes fourth or lower could be the question of the season, couldn't it? The guy is having a very solid season at the moment and he's ever present at the front and sort of challenging for wins if not for a bit of misfortune and let's face it, that missing X factor. The big question is if a very hungry Daniel Ricciardo can steal that third place from him. Now despite everything I said earlier about Kimi, Vettel could very well have double his points by the end of the season if things carry on as they are. He currently has 178% of Kimi's points, so this one might be touch and go all year. Exciting, right? We'll very shortly be seeing the answer to whether Alonso wins in Le Mans and whether Red Bull sign Honda, won't we? Uh, we should also be seeing the 2021 rules within a month or so, so lots of these squares will start getting ticked or blanked off by the next of these catch-up videos. But I'm going to say these squares seem likely to be ticked and these squares seem likely to fail. I guess we'll soon find out, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments and we'll come back to catch up on all this in a few races time.